Hello everyone, welcome to Hama by Arts. In our last video, you have seen how to draw a semi-realistic eye. If anyone of you have missed it, you can check the link in description below or in suggestions. And if you are new here, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. It helps us a lot and thank you. Today, you are going to see how to draw a semi-realistic nose. First of all, draw a rough sketch of the nose. To do that, I am drawing a 3D plane, in mathematical terms, an XYZ plane, where you can see all the dimensions. Imagine. If cheekbone and the area around your nose are on a flat plane, then your nose should stick out of that plane. Let's work on it. Divide the plane into 12 equal parts by drawing 2 parallel horizontal lines and 3 vertical lines. But here we are drawing an oblique view, so as per the horizontal lines, the starting point of the left ends should look wider and the other ends should look a bit near. The width of our first vertical line should be bigger than the second line and the same with second line respect to the third line. That means your third line should be closer to the edge of the plane. This method helps you if you are a beginner and learning to draw step by step. Now let's see how to get your nose stick out. I am erasing the middle line here a bit. From the midpoint of second vertical line to the last part, I am drawing a line. And from the midpoint of the tenth box, from top edge, draw a spline like this. Now draw a curve touching the nose line and our second parallel line. The endpoints of the curve must act like a tangent to the nose line and the parallel line and it should be a few points away from the middle vertical line. Now using these guidelines, let's draw your nose. I think it's fine. Let's do the coloring. I will start with the base color of skin. To do that, I am selecting a light color. This looks good. Make sure your reference layer is on top. I am using a red juice watercolor brush, which you can download from the assets of Clip Studio Paint. Now add a new layer and clip to the layer below. On this layer, we are going to work on shadow. You can take a bright color, but I will use the same color and change the layer mode to multiply. Don't apply too much pressure and blend it properly with base color. In coloring, shadow and light are important factors. Here I am shading over the nose area as the light is coming from southeast direction. Add another layer, change the layer mode to multiply and clip it. Now take a bit bright color and draw over the shadow, especially the parts where the light does not reach and blend those edges. Alright. Now let's work on the shadow behind the nose. It's practically same method and adjust the shadow and give you a depth wherever it needs. Let's erase the lines of reference layer which we do not need anymore. Add a layer above reference layer and clip it. 
here I am going to blend the reference layer along with the shadows. Pick a color close to the deep shadow and fill the lines. If it doesn't match you can adjust the brightness and contrast. Yeah, now we got a fine border for the nose line. Add another layer and change the layer mode to overlay. With this layer we are going to give a vibrant feel to our nose. Pick a light color and draw in between the shadows. It is fine if they overlap the shadows because we will blend the color. If you are done, drag the layer to the bottom. It should be right above the base layer. Now let's add some light on the nose. I am using couple layers and changing their modes to add and screen. Don't apply too much pressure. Looks good now. Let's make some final adjustments in the shading and then we are done. That's it for today everyone. If you like this video give it a thumbs up and share it to your friends. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and click the bell icon. See you in the next video.